Hello, hello, and welcome to myfinanceteacher.org. Let's have a chat about Bitcoin right now. Before we continue, let me remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and click that bell notification. Thanks a lot. And in general, over the last couple of months, since around the middle of December, Bitcoin has been in an uptrend within this rising channel. And although on Saturday we saw Bitcoin dropping from around $10,400 down to just under $10,000, as long as Bitcoin stays within this channel and doesn't break below that, there is still some potential for Bitcoin to gradually chug along upwards. After all, RSI doesn't show much diversion. Since late January to early February, RSI has been confirming these higher highs, although the recent high on Thursday wasn't confirmed by RSI and there was a little bit of a diversion. Nevertheless, the stretch above the 200-day moving average and the 50-day moving average is not extreme. At the recent high on Thursday, the price was nearly 18% higher than the 200-day moving average. So in general, trend is your friend, of course, until it isn't. Things will become more concerning for Bitcoin once it breaks below this lower boundary of the channel. And if, if it happens over the next week or so, that means basically breaking below 9,500. So over the relatively short term, over the next one or two weeks, the theme is the trend is your friend. However, over the next several weeks, there is a potential for Bitcoin to retest this 200-day moving average and even break below that. And the reason for that is the cycles. I really like to talk about cycles because they are driven by market sentiments, by traders' emotions, and it's hard for us not to react to our emotions. So um, over the last few years, since the beginning of 2017, Bitcoin has been following these cycles. And if you divide this period over the number of cycles, you generally have around a couple of months per cycle. That duration, of course, can vary. The previous cycle, for example, lasted just under two months. However, the one before that lasted for just under three months. So sometimes we can see stretched cycles, and this might be a case for an ongoing one for a couple of reasons. Firstly, as I mentioned, trend is still your friend until the trend is broken. And secondly, with the coronavirus spreading fast, the orange line is the number of cases in mainland China. Say some wealthy Chinese would like to move to another country for a while. With capital controls in China, when each person is only allowed to move $50,000 per year out of the country, Bitcoin might be a nice way to overcome those capital controls. So over the next short term, Bitcoin might still chug along upwards, but over the next several weeks, I would expect some sort of a correction. After all, the current cycle has been going on for nearly a couple of months already, and we might be due for a correction sometime into late February, early March. Zooming out a little bit and looking at the chart since last summer, finally this downtrend of lower highs all the way since this high in June down to this high in November has finally been broken. The recent high on Thursday was just a little bit marginally higher than the previous high, just a few dollars higher. And as we see the correction into the end of the ongoing two-month cycle, we also might see that this trend of lower highs is possibly going to be broken as well. And of course, in the long term, that will be a very positive sign for Bitcoin. So to make it clear, in the very long term, over the next couple of years, I think Bitcoin is going to do extremely well. Although into late February, early March, we probably should see some correction. So that's my view on Bitcoin. Let me know what you guys think. Stay safe there with all the virus concerns. Have a nice weekend and good luck in your trades.